Hey, what's up Big Techs? I'm Emily Talley and I'm here with the first in our series of the Boss Babes of Big Techs. And who better to start it off with than Lauren, our strong woman coach. Um, Lauren, this is awesome. I love that you have a strong woman program here at Big Techs. Uh, but tell us a little bit about you and how you got into. Okay, yeah, so program. basically what happened was I was in high school and I hurt my arm playing tennis, which you know, going into school, you don't really get taught things like basic lifting, how to rehab things. And um, when I hurt my arm really bad, uh, my doctor was like, why don't you try lifting? And I was like, sure, I like it. It's something big girls can do and it's acceptable. Like it's a good thing to be big in, in strength sports. And so from there, I kind of developed my love for lifting and stuff like that. And it wasn't until about two, three years ago, um, we had a strongman coach come in and literally we started playing with all these cool things that doesn't even make sense to lift, but it was fun. Um, and it helped being bigger because um, it made things easier. Um, and so it was basically like a car deadlift. That was my like, oh my God, I love this for the rest of my life. I feel like a strong woman. I feel like Wonder Woman, really. Um, that's basically how I got into it. And from there, I've just kind of like nosedived all the way in. That's awesome. So for those who don't know, mm -hmm. tell us what strong woman is. Okay, so strong woman is really hard to describe in like a few words. It's basically lifting weird objects. That's probably the simplest way to say it. Um, it could be lifting uh, a keg, it could be lifting a tire, it could be lifting a car, lifting giant stones, natural stones. Um, so basically, it's find something that looks interesting and pick it up, basically. Okay, and I think I think we're gonna get to see a little bit about what that is because you host your strong woman class here at Big Tex at what time? 11 a.m. Every weekend. <laughs> Every Saturday, right? Yes. Awesome. So, who is strong woman good for? Perfect question. Strong woman is perfect for every woman. There's no, you have to be a certain size, you have to be a certain age. Believe it or not, there's actually been a big push to get high schoolers into strongman. Oh. It's actually, so I call strongman functional training. Um, and it's everyday things that you may not think would benefit you but in the long run, but things like picking up boxes in your everyday life. So I, yesterday I went to Costco, I have, this, I have a giant dog, mm -hmm. and because I have a giant dog, I have a giant bag of dog food <laughs> yes. I have to get. So I went to Costco to get this giant bag of dog food, and I'm like holding this awkward thing, walking right. through Costco with right. this thing, and <laughs> you're actually exactly the person I thought of with this. I'm like, this is exactly what yes, you're talking it, it about. It is. I yeah. mean, things like picking up dog food, picking up your actual dogs. Like if you have giant dogs and you need to take them to the vet, I've come into that with like a hundred and like twenty pound Labrador before. I had to pick him up, Oof. kind of like put him in a truck, nonetheless, not a car. <laughs> um, so literally, strong woman is for any woman. It's anyone who wants to get more familiar with picking things up in the most awkward fashion. <laughs> um, that's the nicest way to say it, honestly. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so strong moments for everyone. So I'm actually kind of annoyed right now because I went and got my nails done for my birthday. It's a lot longer than like I typically have right now. And so this strongman stuff is going to be pretty interesting with these uh, ridiculously extra talent. The question is how much tacky is going to get underneath them? She won't have any tacky. Oh, why not? Because that's a hot mess to do with. Well, let's, let's make, I mean, let's make it happen. I don't even know what tacky is. You need to. Tacky is, <laughs> think about being like Spider-Man and being able to crawl on the wall. That sounds amazing. That's how strong this stuff is. Okay. But it's like snot all over your arm. <laughs> That's why you see the Pam in there? Yes. So you can just spray down your arm? Yes. Pam, I thought that was oil. to oil up. No. Yes. No. <laughs> Maybe that's why we're running out all the time. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> they're taking off your the big jug of coconut oil. The coconut oil. You just like bathe in that. Like, oh, that's so nice. And I'm like, okay. Put I guess a little bit of sand to get in there. Exfoliate. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> my hands and the front of my thighs feel so good after a stone, after a stone day. A because of the oil. Because you like oil. Because I like I oil. It, I get uh -huh. that. Get the get it off, and then I take a shower. I'm like, oh my god, my skin has never felt so good. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so uh, the general way to pick up these stones is basically like if you think of a kid's crane where it just comes together and you bring your arms together like this. And so the goal is to try to put as much pressure here. Um, so a lot of things, what happens is that people who don't do a lot of forearm work will notice it really quickly because the stone will slip right through you. Um, and so the general idea is to squeeze your chest, squeeze your lats, and push in right here. There you go. So you're going to RDL it. So not curl it, but like straight arm, RDL. There you go. Yep, and then, yep, so sit down with it. And then, cup it like a bear. Think of elbow pie. 
Yes, there you go. So you notice how it looks like you might actually pull to your left and your left hand's under this way? Yep, so that one was going to go to your right. So whenever you're ready, you're just going to have to be confident with it, squeeze it, and come up, and then roll it up. Yep. There you go. And then there you go, down. Look at that. It's a little scary at first when you do it first, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, this is actually pretty cool. Like, it actually just rolls right up. Yeah. Um, this is all about hip power. So, people who are crossfitters with Olympic lifts are very good at throwing their hips up into a full, um, full clean and full extension. Um, powerlifts generally don't because they don't actually work on extension work, they just suck before they even get there. So you start pulling it to one side. Yep, yep. There you go. Yep, there you go. I did it! <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I'm that person now. No, it's alright. General rule of thumb, the general rule of thumb, never curl the stuff. So, yes. So, it's everyone's it's natural really bad idea. Idea. Um, it's actually really hard to break someone of that habit. It's because they're like, oh, this is light, let me just curl it up. Um, but this is actually, like, powerlifting, deadlifts are the number one cause of bicep tears. Stones are the number one cause of bicep tears in strongman. Got some, got some strongman. Bruises, battle scars. Battle scars. Battle scars. Have some nice road rashes after this. It means you're doing it right. What are we about to do? The yoke. Yeah. What weight are we going to put on it for you? What weight do you want to try? <laughs> I've never done it before ever, so I think maybe just trying to pick that dang thing up might be uh, a challenge in and of itself. I don't even know. What weight are we going to put on the bar? Uh, I don't know. It's kind of up to the ladies. What weight do we want to put on the bar to make it difficult for her? Probably close to 300. Yeah, I agree. Okay, okay cool. <laughs> we we snort pre workout. Anybody else do it? What's the other way to do this shit? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Straight out of powder form. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Oh, yeah. That's the only way to do it. That's the best way to do it. It hits you harder and hits you faster. She said 300 pounds. Woo! What? Who said that? <laughs> Lauren did. What? 300 pounds. Yeah. This is only 150 pounds right now. <laughs> Don't be scared of it, that's not for you. So go really light. Here, here. There you go. There you go. And then I do. You would walk it forward. Like so, with this, you have to think about standing straight up yeah. and looking where you want to go. Yeah. So the, these implements are very, yeah. go where your eyes go. So if you look down, it's going to go yeah. down with you. Got so it. If you look forward, you'll actually be able to project yourself straight in a straight line. And up with it, make sure you're pushing like this, more so than grabbing it, okay? Yep, and then just walk. So think of walking side to side, not in the lines, and that way you can really feel it. So this is 250? Yes, this is 250. So you can wear a belt. Highly recommended. I wear two belts, a belt and a hard belt on this because I wear no belts. And the squats. There you go. There you go. And then floor. Nice. Breathe quickly. There you go. Breathe. Breathe. Good job, girl. There you go. How does that compare to like CrossFit stuff? Hey. <laughs> uh, it's definitely different like it's not like anything I've ever done before right. um, but so Lauren was saying just a minute ago how it can translate into heavier lifts outside of this like a heavier back squat which I can totally understand because your body is getting used to being under a heavier load even though it's distributed in a different way so it's kind of amazing to be able to walk like that with 200 pounds run almost with 200 pounds 250 250? 250? What's up? Um, it's pretty cool. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah, makes you feel sh like a strong woman. Yeah. Who would have thought? Who would thought? <laughs> getting, things are getting serious. 3.30. Back. I felt it. There you go. Atta girl. Good, good. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Yeah. Yeah.
But that's about competition, right? Yes. Yes. So. Some people do it a lot faster. That's your first time. Uh, how can we find you on social media? So you can either search, first search my name on Facebook. It's Lauren Dominguez, L O R A N. It's not normal at all. Um, and then my Instagram handle is Chica. Perfect. Yeah. And these are every Saturday at 11 a.m. Every Saturday at 11 a.m. Big Tech's gym. Yeah. Perfect. Come on out. It's fun. Perfect. Thank you very much, Lauren. Thank you.